I'm like vibing to the music while watching this fight at the same time. That's funny. Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. My name is Robertini the Source, and I'm a music producer who also happens to like anime and games. And guess what? We are back with another anime reaction, and we're going to get back into Tower of God, episode four. I'm very excited. I can't wait to get into that. And of course, if you do like this video and you like the other content on my channel, definitely go and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week. Also, if you're looking for exclusive music production content, I got exclusive beats, I got even more access to more reactions, and you get early access to a lot of my videos, you can head on over to the Patreon page where all of that information and content will be available. All the links will be in the description below. So now, we're going to get back into Tower of God. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different because I am a music producer. So, of course, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my reaction. And then I'm also going to show you guys basically a, a favorite scene of mine from this episode. And I'll break it down from a music standpoint. So we're just going to basically kind of just replay the scene. And I'm going to talk about what I liked about the scene. I'm going to talk about the sound, talk about the music, what made that scene so cool. So that's going to be something to look forward to. So without further ado, let's get into the reaction and then... Then let's break down that scene. Let's go. Oh, another game? All right. Of course they're going to participate, but not every team has to participate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Interesting animation uh, here. Look at that. <laughs> uh whoa interesting okay hold on i'm gonna go back here real quick because um whoa okay so this is interesting y'all so i guess what they decided to do for us was translate each of the rules that was pretty cool um so let's see the time limits five minutes up to five teams can participate the game is conducted over five rounds return to your waiting room entering another team's rating room that's really cool man i really like that um i like that concept a lot I just noticed the screen was shaky, but I guess this is for dramatic effect. That's just my assumption. So let's keep it going. Yeah. Okay. Ha, killing arts. <laughs> he called the killing arts. Is that what he called it? <laughs> I always find it how funny how they portray anime time. Ooh, but I like, once again, I like that dramatic effect of the music. As the scene was kind of moving forward, that was pretty cool. Like this, it, the way that things are going, it symbolizes that there's about to be a big fight about to happen. Clearly, that's what it looks like. Not even a big fight, but a battle of some sort. So that's going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> and then it cuts off. <laughs> and then it comes back. Very interesting. Wow. Wow. That was really cool. <laughs> oh. Going straight to it. Now, I remember he threw his sword before. Let's see what he's going to do with that. The sounds, man. That's what I'm so... I don't know if you guys can listen while you're watching or if you watch this episode. Like, the sounds during the scenes are... Incredible. And they're continuously changing in an ever-flowing motion. This anime definitely has a, sa a very movie-like vibe in terms of its soundtrack. We've literally listened to four or five different tracks within the span of like two to three minutes. Oh, come on, man. I know you could do this. Oh. <laughs> I love how he still calls him Blue Turtle. That's like so interesting to me. Oh, he's using that energy from the building or whatever that was called from before. Yeah, Shinsu. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Whoa. Animation. Oh. 
I love everything that's going on, my man. It could be my headphones too, but... Because I'm hearing every little detail right now. Yeah, that is true. I can agree with that. Alright, so she's definitely the real deal. Because I thought she would actually get tricked. Whoa. Wow, what a way to dodge. <laughs> Giving into your emotions. I guess the idea is to just stay calm. It actually makes sense. So it clearly is a connection to the weapons. Because his weapon is going crazy. She knows what that weapon is. Interesting. Oh, I thought they were going to try to take the crown. That would have been the best op opportunity to take it, actually, if you think about it. I'm very impressed with the transitions of the sounds and the music per scene. Wow, it's a struggle for him to really hold it. The 13th month series, Forged by the Black Mark. Interesting. The Green April. Oh, interesting. And she's a princess? Whoa. Interesting. So, I wonder if there's 13 prince and princesses based on the weapons, since there's 13 weapons. Oh, wow. He stopped her like it was nothing. Really? No way. She really is willing to give away her weapon? That's really interesting. That's really, really interesting to me. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I like Rack's uh, tenacity right here. Now it's time for them to enter. Can they take the crown? And the question is, how many... Um, how many participants are, are going to be in this round? What I love is... Oh, man, the music in this is absolutely incredible, y'all. Ugh. Oh, following her principles. That's cool. Because betraying a girl is the same as making an enemy of the world. What an interesting line. What an interesting line. <laughs> I wonder how people feel about that line. Huh. It's pretty clear that his bond with Rachel is the key to everything, too. Rachel's what's keeping him afloat right now. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I'm literally agreeing with what just happened here. The ambiance of the sounds is what makes these scenes cool. It's kind of giving the anticipation of this battle. And who's going to get it first, though? Exactly. I kind of, I was thinking, I'm assuming it's attack from a distance. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, wow. What a G. What a G. <laughs> That's cool. But I was just going to say that attacking from a distance was probably the best way to do it. Oh, man. The piano. Wow. This is so cool. So cool. What a G, Kun is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I 100% agree. What a vibe. I'm like vibing to the music but while watching this fight at the same time. That's funny. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> That's legit. Oh yeah, but they have another round. And this group, they, they look serious. That is Rachel. That is Rachel. What? No. All right, y'all. That was episode four of Tower of God. What a very cool episode, man. Um, Lots going on. The highlight of the episode was obviously that weapon, which Anik has. Um, so that was really cool. So when we, we found out that there's basically 13 of these people who have these different weapons and obviously Bam is one of those people who has the weapon. So um, we're going to see how that all develops because I'm interested to know is everybody either a prince and or princess and do they all have the weapons because my assumption is if Anik is a princess of Jaha that must mean that there are other princesses 
out there or other princes out there and each and every one of them hold the weapon so that's really really cool and just this whole sequences of battles are really cool anak is the real deal she's really really strong that's what i'm really liking the most uh coming from this battle and obviously rachel is there or at least that was her and for some strange reason she wasn't really that responsive so i wonder why she's not being responsive towards bam because um obviously bam is trying to find her and there's a lot of mysteriousness right now that's involved with just her little group so i can't wait to see the next round where she's going to be featured and all of that and just the other overall just the other little battles and the way that everybody's been trying to get the crown it makes sense to attack from a distance that's why i was saying that in my reaction and kun obviously is really strong as well i mean he he took care of business he let everybody fight on their own fooling everybody by putting bam on the throne so i thought that was pretty uh pretty interesting but really the highlight was just the the understanding of the weapons the weapons are obviously a key part of this tower and is going to be a key part of the of the series as we move forward so I'm, i can't wait until we get on uh, dig more into that now of course besides just me obviously watching the episode and paying attention to what's been going on the one thing if you guys obviously noticed was that i was really talking a lot about the music side right and just the sound effects man it was incredible just to see how all of the songs are connecting very fluidly within um the uh the episode as a matter of fact i'm going to actually go to a scene of my reaction and we're actually going to kind of replay it so you guys can see what i'm talking about so let me show you right now all right y'all one of the things i noticed about this uh anime and i guess in this episode was that I, i'm sure it's gonna be a recurring thing but um basically what's really cool what i like is the fact that there'll be a scene where you'll you'll hear the music playing for like a little bit during the one scene then it'll cut off then they'll speak speak and then the music will kind of come back in so here's a scene from this episode so i'm just gonna play this real quick I know you guys may not be able to hear it that much, but there's music playing now. And then watch, it's going to cut off right there. Then the scene continues, right? It's pretty cool. <laughs> and then it continues back forth, which is really cool. Just like that. So that was really cool, y'all. That's something that um, I really, you know, noticed with this uh, so far in this anime. And they did that a lot in this episode. So I thought it was pretty, pretty cool, man. And I just love just the different um, styles of music. I mean, you got sad music, you got intense music, all kind of happening at once. And there's just a bunch of sounds. And I'm moving my hands a lot, but just the sounds that are going around. Like when you're watching this, I guess I have my headphones in so you can really listen to the details. But like, man, it's they did a really good job with the with the sounds and the overall music and kind of keeping the aesthetic of the the mood of each scene. So that's just something that I wanted to point out. And uh, as we watch uh, episodes moving forward, I'm very curious if they're going to change that style or is that going to be a recurring style? So that's pretty much all I really have to say about that. All right, guys, I hope you did enjoy this uh reaction uh definitely put your thoughts in the comments just about how you guys feel about this so far tower of god is definitely a new one it's definitely different and it was a pretty cool watch so far i'm actually really enjoying this so far so that's pretty cool i'm loving the music so far i think it's so cool and it's even inspiring me to really want to get better at creating getting better at composing of course um, and even just coming up with some ideas for maybe some beats I might want to make in the future. So that's going to be exciting. So thank you guys for watching this. Now, if you're on YouTube and you enjoyed this video, definitely go and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week, I will be dropping videos like this every week for shows like Tower of God, Hunter x Hunter, and One Piece. I'm very excited. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a while since I love anime, so I'm grateful for that. Of course, I also have music production uh, content in general, so you guys can definitely check that out. Um, the links will be in the description. Not only do I create uh, reaction videos, but I also actually make beats. 
Um, these beats can be used for anybody if you're a content creator, artist, or whatever you need. You can go get those beats, you can get a lease for the beat, and you can use it for your own content. So if you want to know more about that, you can head over to my website, which is in the link in the description. It's www.iamthesource.com. And if you want to actually see a little bit more of my reactions, you can actually also head over to Patreon because you're going to get early access to all of these videos. But additionally, I'll also post my actual reaction to the um, anime. So if you guys are interested to actually see me react to the episodes real time, that'll be something to look forward to we're not real time but y'all get the point so that's definitely something to look forward to so definitely go and click uh, the link in the description so you can see what kind of cool content we have on the patreon page because um i'm working on trying to really build a community where we can love music but also love anime all at the same time so that'll be pretty cool so with that being said guys i cannot wait to get into the next episode to continue watching tower of god so as always, don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be. My name is Robert Tini, the source. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.